Hey guys, it's been a while. I know, I know. Um, the light is coming in so bright right now. I'm so tired if you cannot tell. I'm very tired. But today we're going to be trying... Okay, not trying. Today we're going to do a one brand tutorial. Well, at least most of the stuff will be a one brand. Um, I got this stuff a while ago. You guys knew when I got this. And I never really got around to filming this tutorial and I actually forgot I had the palette which is from Wet and Wild Wet and Wild and also I'll be using a few stuff from this month's boxy charm as well because um, some of you wanted me to use some of the stuff that I got in this month's boxy charm on camera so I will be doing that today so let's do the brows today's video is gonna be hella long so I apologize in advance for that if you don't like longer videos I'm gonna start off using the brow gal by Tanya Crooks, which is this brow palette. This came in this month's boxy charm, and I actually used it a couple times, so I actually like it. So uh, that's why I'm using it today. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek. I love the packaging, and this is what the shades in the palette looks like. I usually gear more towards this shade right here, and sometimes I will dab into this one, but I'm mostly into this one. So, <clears throat> so you guys will get to see me fill my brows in today, which is very unusual. So let's, let's do that. Let's do the brows, no talking for this, and run some music, shall we? So I'll go ahead and clean this brow up and I'll be using some concealer. Um, this is pretty much close to my skin tone so it works pretty well. Um, it's from Wet n Wild and it's the Conceal Corrector from the Photo Focus line and this is in the shade Medium Deep. So I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'll go off of that. So that's that brow is finished brows are finished and I used only that brow palette from BoxyCharm. This is what the brush looks like. It's a double double-ended brush. The spoolie is pretty it's a little hard compared to like the Anastasia spoolie, but the brush is very very thin and I really like that about the brush. But it it works. So this is the palette that we're going to be using today. It's from Wet n Wild, of course. Like I said, most of the stuff is going to be from Wet n Wild. This is the All Natural palette. It's the Rose Toned Gold one. And this one here reminds me so much of the um, Naked 3 palette. And I was a little bummed because I don't really use that palette as much. But let's use this, see how the, how the um, shadows are and how the quality is and stuff like that. So today's look will be strictly from uh, this palette. I'm gonna prime the lids using my the same concealer I used to clean the brows up because that's what I've been doing lately, like, I don't know, laziness, I guess. And I just prefer to use my concealer. It does the same shit, in my opinion. So that's why I use it. See if we have a shadow that we can use to set this concealer. There's only uh, one, two, three, four mattes, and all the rest seems to be shimmer shadows. Four? One, two, three, four, five mattes, sorry. Go ahead and use this bone color right at the end here. Look, I never used any like drugstore brand um, eyeshadows really. To be honest so this is kind of like the first for me let's go ahead and use a contour and highlight palette that came in this month's boxy charm which looks like this um yeah let's let's do that let's do that so we can get a color for our transition from here so i'll use the contour 2 for my transition area since the wet n wild palette doesn't have a transition color which is weird as shit i was looking through my uh Oh, well, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 
my palettes the other day and then I noticed the Wet n Wild palette and I was like I did not freaking film that look yet and that's why I was like yeah I need to do get on that shit by the way I like this palette too I did use it um, maybe once or twice um, it's not bad at all the, sh the, the contour shades are very soft and buttery not chalky at all and decently pigmented I haven't really used the highlight shades which are these three shades here these two colors are already for the contour and I like them so far now let's go into the actual wet wild palette ah not sure what I want to do today okay I guess I'll go in with this burgundy shade first so we'll just take a little bit knock off the excess and pray to Jesus and go in oh, let's pray this doesn't go the wrong way <laughs> looking like not burgundy it's kind of looking a little bit I know it's kind of looking a little bit brown to me just going in very light handed because I don't know how how these shadows are Go in with this color right next to that burgundy shade, which is almost like a it's like a dark brown, and it's kind of showing like it has some um, a very slight specks of glitter in it. But like you can see when it's swatched, it's not you're not really seeing the glitter. And I want to focus this more on the outer side of the eye than anywhere else. That's why I'm, I switched my brush. And I'm using something a little bit more smaller. So I'm keeping that packed on the outside. Then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and just blend everything in together. Go back in with this bone color and put that under the brows. What I like to do is if I went a little too high with the transition color, I just bring it around here and clean it up. You know, I need to go to the salon and thread my brows. Do you guys see the mess it is in? I need to go thread my brows. Go back in with that clean brush and just lightly blend the ends off or out. I always say off. I know what's wrong with me. So kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go ahead and use this gold color right here because the pink one seems a lot powdery and I don't want to fight with that. Okay, so we're gonna leave the eyes for a little bit and go on to the face. Okay, we'll be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is what it looks like. I have the shade Toffee. I, for some reason, thought I had uh, another bottle, but I didn't. Um, so, this is what we're gonna be working with the shade Toffee. Hopefully, it's not too dark. I did went ahead and primed the face using my Smashbox primer, the clear one. Now I did get this concealer and corrector palette from last month's BoxyCharm and I actually didn't even freaking touch it yet. As you can tell, I didn't even touch it yet. So we're going to be touching it today. So I'm going to go in with the corrector shade, which is Pecan, which is this orange shade right here and do a little bit of correcting. Now what this orange shade is going to do for me is, ooh, this is very creamy. 
this is very creamy so what this orange shade is going to do for me is correct the the dark spots dark under eyes and stuff like that on the face and god knows i need that right now for under the eyes this is very creamy so hopefully this works <laughs> ahead shake my foundation up and this foundation does come with a spatula on the inside and we're just gonna put this on parts of the face I actually don't like this spatula too much because one day I was um, getting dressed to go out and I use this foundation and I was doing just what I'm doing right now and the spatula end up leaking on my clothes and I nearly lost my shit and yeah I don't really like this uh, spatula you gotta really be careful otherwise it will drip so I'm just taking down a little bit on the neck because I feel like it's gonna be a little too dark and going in with this brush that also came in this month's boxy charm and this is from crown brushes never use a brush like this before so this is going to be the first for me and using the wet and wild photo focus setting spray i'm going to spray the brush just very lightly i never use a brush like this i don't know if i should be rubbing it Stop right there. The brush is pretty soft, I'll tell you that much. It's not bad at all. Why the hell do I look so orange? Oh my god. Now I remember why I stopped using this foundation. It looks freaking orange on me. I use a little bit more of that foundation, but I will be mixing in some of the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Foundation in white. Because this is looking a little oompa loompa on me right now. Go ahead and mix that in like right around there. I don't know how I feel about this brush though. This feels weird. I'm not accustomed to this brush. Yeah, this definitely lightened it up for me. Less oompa loompa. Still don't know how I feel about this um this brush. It's really really soft though. If you guys like brushes like this, I would definitely recommend it because it's really nice and soft. No streakiness or anything like that on the face blend it out pretty nicely I thought I would have to go in back with my um I thought I would have to go in back with my beauty blender but I don't it's pretty good so I'll go ahead and put some concealer under these bags right here you know these Chanel bags that's going on in my eyes so I'll go ahead and use the wet n wild photo focus concealer and this one is in the shade uh, medium tawny and I will mix in a little bit of the the medium deep tan as well I'll go ahead and use my beauty blender to blend my concealer out and my beauty blender is damp by the way I'll go ahead with the highlight and contour palette and I'll use something from here probably the number three shade hmm, not bad now we're gonna go ahead and contour the face I'm gonna go in with contour 2 which is the middle one Then 
Then I'll go in with a little bit of the number three, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna focus that one more like right here, nowhere else. And I'll go back in, you see the mess it made in the palette. Now I'm gonna blow that off and go back in with the highlighter number three and clean up under under my contour blend 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 it's all about blending you guys you know the shit with that oh i'm gonna contour my nose a little bit i've been doing that lately i'm gonna use the number two shade just a little bit number three shade and just pull that down right at the center of the nose going with our blush and I'm I've been loving the two blushes from the Jaclyn Hill palette lately that's all I've been using which is these two right here and I usually keep my blush right at the back of the cheeks For our highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder. And this one is in the shade Crowned of My Canopy, which looks like this. You guys know I was obsessing over this shit like a hot minute when I got it. So I'm going to use this today. Why did I stop using this in the first place? I swear you get so much freaking shit, like the good stuff just got pushes behind. I'm going to put a little bit on the nose. right in the center of the bridge right a little bit under cupid's bow per usual lashes today and I probably should since the eyes are so dramatic but I don't feel like using lashes so we're not gonna use lashes so I'm gonna go in with my mascara which is a telescopic mascara from L'Oreal and put that on my lashes hmm. do you believe these eyes are drugstore Damn wet and wild. These shadows are not bad at all. Not bad at all. Really, really, I'm digging this palette. These eyes come from this palette? No way. So that's the eyes finished. So we're gonna go in with a wet and wild liquid lipstick. Um, this one is in the shade Rebel Rose. So I'll go ahead and line my lips. this video it was a talk through finally the video went pretty good I'm excited I got to sit down and film today I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video all the products that I used in today's video will be linked down below per usual in the description box so go ahead and check that out if I can find the ones that were in the boxy charm 
this month and last month i will link that down below as well everything in this video was affordable nothing was high-end or overpriced so you can get your hands on anything that i use in today's video if you loved it what i will say about the eyeshadow palette though it's really good it blended out so nicely pigmented but a little powdery some of the shadows are um of course the foundation you guys already know that i love that foundation the except it was a little too orange for me but it ended up working out a lot of stuff from boxycharm like the brush and the contour palette i really like it definitely recommend the brush if you like those kind of brushes it's a cheaper alternative to the more expensive one it's very soft but i don't know how i feel about it because i don't like the whole rubbing motion of foundations on my on my face the end result is pretty damn good subscribe if you're not already and of course still remember that notification bell right next to the subscribe button go ahead and hit that so you can be notified when i upload a new video why am i spinning in the chair like a two-year-old thanks for watching i will catch you guys in a later video bye guys